All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to rebuild a hub. Uh, it's one of the locking hubs on a Geo Tracker. This one came from a 90. Uh, it's one of the stock hubs that comes on it. Sometimes they have a different style with the plastic in them. These are the good ones. Um, this is off a 90 tracker. Uh, I pulled it from a junkyard. It's actually stuck. It won't, it won't go. But these are really easy to fix. So I got a five millimeter Allen. I zip these out. I have done this on the vehicle before. It's just easier to do when it's off. See, it's stuck. It won't even come apart. Look in there. It's all full of all full of goodies. So, see, there you go. That spring pops out of. You can't even see it. Anyway. So that's what you got to do. Basically, you just pull the face off of it and you clean it out. You got to clean up all the gunk in here. So we're going to get this we're going to get this gunk cleaned up in here. And I'll show you how it goes back together, but uh you can do this on the vehicle and do it off. If you do it off the vehicle, don't lose these cone washers. They're impossible to replace. Um so yeah, we're going to get this thing cleaned up and that's all about all you got to do. Pull that off, clean it up and then we'll put that back in there yeah, all right before i clean this up we got a little uh gear that slides in and out here that's part of the piece that engages it's all stuck so i took a screwdriver and i stuck it underneath this little lip right here and i just slowly worked my way around and pried it up until it comes out that right there that's what was stuck so you see the the teeth on the inside of this in here when you engage the hub, they slide in to engage on the teeth right inside of there. So this one was stuck, it wouldn't slide, it wouldn't slide in and out. That's why the hub wasn't working. So yeah, so get all of that stuff cleaned up, get it lubed up really well, and then it'll slide back together. All right, we got it all cleaned up, um, good enough for me. And so we're gonna start putting it back together. So one of the things is, is that we pulled this off of the spring. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it to lock position on the hub here. We'll oil all this stuff up afterwards, but we're gonna turn it to the lock position. And then there's a spring on the outside, there's a spring on the inside. What you want to do is this spring on the inside here. I took a, a pick, just a straight pick, and I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to run it around. Run it all the way around. So I got full revolution sticking up above it. Then I'm going to take this and there's a section here that doesn't have teeth on it. The rest of it has teeth all the way around. So we're going to take this and we're just going to slowly work it in here. So we're going to start at the point here that doesn't have teeth. And then we're actually just going to basically screw this onto that spring until it's far enough on. The other thing to note is there's a piece here, these two little ears here. They're the same all the way around. There's also two little ears on here that have to match up. And then there's a little catch right here that's going to drop in between two of the ears. So we're gonna just work this together, work this on. Start at one end here, turn it like this so I have the end of the spring sticking out. And just start turning it in. Didn't work out quite right. And then I got another little pick, this little one here. And as I pull it in, I'm just gonna work with this pick make sure it's all pulled up in there where it needs to be just like that it's in didn't take long at all so if you look in here i don't know how well you can see this should be able to see it now look in here you have the end of this Let's see if i make this thing 
stand up and work with me here. So you have the end of the spring right here, just to where it just barely touches the next piece of the spring. As you go around, you can look at where it's hooked into the cogs all the way around. And then you look at this other side, you have an ear between these two and the ears lined up with these. Ear and ear. So that one's assembled, ready to go. If you turn it from lock to free, notice it pulls it out. So you go in to lock, out to free. There you go. You do it. You can do this on the vehicle, you don't have to take it off. Um, and then you just take it and you slip it back together. Might go together. After you get it all lubed up. Oh boy, come on, do what I want. That one's not going together. All right, just learned something else. So, going back together, these little ears that stick down between the two teeth. Inside your hub here, you have a gap here that doesn't have a nose in between, a thing in between. That is where that ear goes. So they're the opposite sides of each other. Bada bing, bada boom, goes right together. Lock tight your screws, put them back in. All right, got it greased up. Um, got the bolts back in, all back together. Now we're gonna test it to make sure it works. So this side is where the, the um, axle goes. This goes on the end of the axle. Notice it moves, it moves freely, it spins. Come over here, turn the hub to lock, flip it over, it locks it in. It doesn't spin freely. And then you go to free, it spins freely. There's your hub, all lubricated, rebuilt, not really, but all cleaned up and working perfectly again, just like new. Thanks for watching.